all you amazing people. I'm Jody, and I'm back to Wendy's Crafting Friends here for you. We are going to do an unboxing today. We are unboxing curated beatbox, Woodland Wonder. So just in time for fall, and um, we know it's right around the corner, right? It's gonna be here before we know it, and I'm looking forward to it, honestly. Like, I love summer, I'm a summer person, but fall is just, you know, it's starting to cool down a little bit. Now you can open up all your windows and you can get some fresh air in the house. You can bust out all those cute, cozy little sweaters that you love to wear, um, your oversized hoodies and feel all cozy. Um, it's just, it's a nice time. So, all right guys, I'm gonna turn this around and we're gonna get ready to go. I'll right hey back. Everyone, I haven't even opened it yet. It's still sealed. So I'm just looking at the front of this and I can already tell that I am going to absolutely love this box. So um, Curated Bee Box is a monthly subscription sent directly to your home for $20 a month. No shipping charge, it's all included. Um, they are really great beads. Um, you get a nice choice of glass beads. Um, you do get some occasional gemstones. Um, you always get a findings pack that is not extra. That comes with every single box, you guys. It's really great. So let's just take a peek and see what we have here. I'm gonna pull this out. Oh, out of the paper, there we go. All right, for those of you who hate the sound of paper, I apologize, it's over now. We don't have to worry about it anymore. And I'm gonna get everything out of the box because on the front of the box is our list of contents. So right here on the front, there's a whole list of contents and they give you the item numbers so that if you want to get more of whatever you see here, you can go over to dollarbead.com and use those, those model numbers and you can find what you're looking for to, you know, if you want extra or whatever. Um, there, is a, there is one thing, sometimes the bead sizes and types might be different than what you might see in my box because the availability may be different. So like you may have already gotten your box and you have one certain bead that I don't have, that yours is on the list, but mine is not. Um, it's just because they found a replacement that was close enough to um, keep the integrity of the curation. So um, sometimes you could get different beads. So set that off to the side and we'll use that for our, um, for when I'm looking at stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and get um, the 10 millimeter ones together here. So we have, the first one is a 10 millimeter apple green marble style glass bead and you get an eight inch strand. So this is that nice, really bright and cheerful green. Um, there are some white in it and some darker green veins. Very pretty, very pretty glass beads. I like those. All right, and then next we have olive crackle glass bead and you get an eight inch string. So these are 10 millimeter as well. And these are a really nice green. This is the kind of green that I totally dig this time of year. And don't get me wrong, this bright green is great for this time of year too, because don't forget, there are still some bright colors in fall. But this olive green right here, that's it's kind of my jam, loving that olive green. Then next we have 10 millimeter malachite gemstone bead. So these are a big bead. So 10 millimeter and you get malachite. And it's this lovely, lovely like Kelly green in some spots, maybe a little bit darker than that in others, but just a gorgeous, gorgeous strand of beads. And they're big, an eight inch strand. So it's a good deal. Um, we have also, uh, let me make sure I'm grabbing the right ones here. Okay, so this is the eight millimeter green and red duo gemstone style glass bead. So this is kind of like almost like a crackle bead or did I just grab the wrong one? <laughs> nope. Oh, this looks like the right one. Okay, <laughs> sometimes the description kind of matches up with what I'm thinking. So there are some hints of red in with this green. So it just gives you kind of like, 
This kind of reminds me of the green trees that are in the middle of starting to change colors, right? So you still have some green leaves, but you have a few that are turning that beautiful red or orange. Gorgeous. And then next we have um, eight millimeter brown and green crackle faceted duo glass bead. Oh, you know what? I have these wrong. This one was the, I'm so sorry. This one is the green and red duo gemstone style glass bead. So sorry. So this one has all the red veining in it. And then this one is the green and brown crackle frosted. Sorry about that guys, a little mix up on those two lines there. This one is really lovely with the red veins in it though. I, I absolutely love that. Then we have eight millimeter aqua and orange crackle frosted duo glass bead and you get a 10 inch strand. So here is that aqua and orange that we know looks so good together. This is really, really pretty together. And that orange is like, it's like fiery. You know what I mean? It's not like a, it's not like a dull orange and it's not like a really bright orange, but it, to me, it just kind of looks like, like little embers in there. Very pretty. Sorry, my dog is wagging his tail in the hallway and it's hitting the door. <laughs> He's all excited because he gets to go on his W-A-L-K. I don't want to say it out loud because he'll hear me. All right, then next we have Oh, we've got a lot of gemstones in this one, you guys. A lot of them. Eight millimeter green adventuring gemstone bead, and you get a seven to eight inch strand. So here's some green adventuring. Very beautiful. A lot of really nice strands in this box this month. I'm really happy with this. This is awesome. Look at all these greens, you guys. Look at that. It is like being in the woods, isn't it? It's beautiful. Stick that little guy right in here and try to make a green rainbow. <laughs> um, then next we have eight millimeter Jasper gemstone bead and you get a seven to eight inch string. So this is really nice, this Jasper. So I'm seeing a lot of really beautiful grays in here, but in some spots, Here's like a really pretty, almost like a coppery color and a little bit of red here. So you are getting that beautiful um, different shades throughout these beads, but very pretty. Kind of predominantly grayish, but I love this one because there are other really beautiful little beads that you can just pick. Like if you put this right next to this, it's picking up all this red in here. So that's really cool. Okay, our last strand is it's six millimeter bronze drizzle glass bead and you get a 10 inch string. So this looks a little more orange to me than bronze, but I'm digging it. Um, I like the drizzle effect on the beads. I think it looks really, really pretty. And look, just lay that in the middle of all these. Look at that. It goes so well with everything. Look how pretty that is beautiful. All right, so now we have our strands done. Let's go ahead and let's um, break out some of these little bagged items. So I personally love their bead mixes they do. They do these designer bead mixes. And this one is one ounce of Harvest Designer Glass Bead Mix. And let's just dump this out and let's check it out and see what we have going on here. Okay, so we have a couple really large glass beads here and they have a really large hole so I, I feel like there's a lot of um, a lot of options to do some leather here I've been kind of sneak peeking ahead and then here's there's a lot of peach in here a lot of orange look at how cute this bead is with the little polka dots on it kind of wish we had two of those but there's a lot of little beautiful bicones and faceted crystals just really pretty really really pretty stuff and these I love these they are out in almost every box they're the little like it looks like a UFO but the hole is up here at the top so they're a nice like like a little droppy dangle looks great on um, for a dangle or looks great on a pair of earrings and then they have a couple like 
this one too. Um, this one is drilled in the center. These are drilled through the top as well, which is really great. Let's just put them on my dish here. I love these dishes. Okay, beautiful. Look at how they shine. They all shine so pretty. This is a great color combo to have with this. Oh, I didn't even notice this one. This one is like, it's like, oh, this one would make a really gorgeous ring, wouldn't it? And look, you can you can string through the bottom. I might have to do a ring out of one out of this box. I might have to do that. That's beautiful. Okay. Moving on to the next thing, we have 10 millimeter um, gold iron, sorry, gold round iron bead, and you get mm, about 20 beads. So some really large hole um, gold beads. So like I said, I feel like this is saying, hey, you wanna use some leather in this, don't you? <laughs> So those, large, those beads are so huge. Now, you don't have to do this with leather, and if you're wanting to string this on wire, you can grab some seed beads and string your seed beads on first and then roll this over the top so that it doesn't bounce around on your wire and make your, the rest of your beads look weird. So that is definitely um, something you can do with that. Let's grab this little dish here. All right, and then next we have, oh, these are pretty, eight millimeter round silver filigree metal beads, and you get about 40 beads. These are gorgeous, look at these. And they have that filigree open um, like design on it. They're so lightweight and they're just beautiful. Look at how bright that silver is. That's gorgeous. So those are eight millimeter. I'm only saying we only had really one six millimeter strand in here. All these are eights and tens, and wow, they are really. This is a really good box, you guys. This one is really great. So I'm, I'm going to tell you. So I they are an affiliate of mine, or I'm an affiliate of theirs, or however that works. <laughs> um, we have a coupon code, so it's Wendy thirty five, and there's a link in the description of this video that will take you right to getting this subscription box. You put in Wendy, Wendy 35 at checkout, you save 35%, so that brings your $20 um, first box down to around $13, which is really great. Really, really great deal. And then the rest of your months would just be $20. So um, it, this is definitely like a great one if you want, if you haven't started it yet, right here, guys, because this is definitely more than 13 something worth of, it's definitely more than $20 worth, but it surely is definitely worth more than 13. All right, so next we have um, 10 by, uh, sorry, 14 by 10 millimeter silver lusted faceted bicone glass beads. You get eight beads. So they call them bicones. Um, I can agree with that, but I kind of call them more of like a, almost like a barrel type bead. Like that's what I've been calling them. But look at the facet in those, like the shine and the sparkle. And there are, you can pick up hints of green, some hints of purple, and they're just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And those have a larger hole too. So again, if you're wanting to do some stuff on leather or some larger cords, or if you're just wanting to do like multiple strands um, kind of coming in and out, you know, there's all kinds of things you could do. All right, so next we have a 62 by 32 metal leaf pendant, and you get two pendants. These are, oh my gosh, you, you have to see these in person. These are beautiful. So it was the back, this is the front, has this little like leaf little section up here too. You're getting the glare from my light, but okay, there we go, maybe like that. Look at how beautiful these are, you guys. These are so gorgeous. And they look like a leaf that maybe, you know how it starts to deteriorate and you can start seeing like all the little teeny tiny veins throughout that leaf? That's what this reminds me of. Just beautiful. Look at that. Those are gorgeous. 
And then next we have a 26 by 20 leaf luster electroplated metal pendant. And oh, oh, look at this, you guys. Wow, look at that. You're getting some blues, some purples, a little bit of green. That is gorgeous. That's the front. Here's the back. Very pretty. This would be pretty like, like this, look. Tell me that doesn't look amazing. That's what I'm gonna do, I'm telling you right now. It's exactly what I'm gonna to wanna to do <laughs> with that. That looks amazing. All right, and then we'll just run through this findings pack really quick. In every box, you guys, every single box, these are the items that you will get. You will get some memory wire. You will get bead stringing wire. You will get elastic wire, stretch cord. Um, you'll get head pins or eye pins or both. Some little um, crimp beads. Uh, some lobster clasps. Wonderful jump rings. These jump rings are amazing. And some ear wires. So this is this is an amazing box. You guys at Curated Bee Box, this is beautiful. This is absolutely stunning. And I am so excited about this one. I really, I mean, not that I don't get excited about them all, but this one is really, really, really gorgeous, you guys. All right, you know what? Enough of me blabbing about how beautiful it is. Let's put that beauty to work, shall we? I'll be right back. These really lovely purple seed beads. And I think those would be wonderful. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna take these clear ones off here. Well, we'll do it off the one side because I have the other side clamped down. We'll do that one when we're done. And let's go ahead and put, let's put a couple of them here. They're like a purplish red, which is like, I think pretty perfect for this necklace. And then let's maybe do um, one of these bicones right next to it just to lighten that up right next to this dark stone here. And then let's do a seed bead. See if one will be enough. We might have to do two. Goodness, hold still. Well, it looks like one should be enough. Let's put the other one on. like that and then let's maybe do another one of these and then how about another one of these bicones yeah that's pretty and then let's do you know what let's do two of these seed beads Whoop, come back here I like these seed beads because they have a nice larger hole, so they're a lot easier to like to see. And they're just like an 11-0 size. So if you're trying to make this necklace, um, it's 11-0 size and um, it fits like perfect. So then let's do let's do this really pretty orange. Let's keep some color up front, shall we? Let's do that. And then I want most of these drops hanging towards the center of the necklace. So let's do our drop. And then let's do another one of these. And let's do two more seed beads. And you know, let's maybe do two more of these. So let's do one, a drop, sea bead. Okay, that's gonna look really pretty. Yeah, that's gonna look really cool. I like that already. All right, so we did those, and now let's do 
Mm, let's do one of these larger bicones. Mm, hold on. I do want to use these silver ones. So let's maybe do, just do one of these little clearish seed beads next to the silver. I'm getting it through every hole except for the right one. There it goes. You know what, you guys? I'm not really wanting these. I love them, but that's not it's not what I'm going for. You know what? We're gonna take those off. I'm so sorry, but sometimes we have to do it this way. And we're gonna put those back. I have plenty of this jasper. I want to use this jasper, and I want to use a lot of this silver. So let's get rid of these. These will be great on another piece that I'm already thinking about. So let me just put those away. <laughs> And this is what we're going to do. All right, so we have, this is our pattern so far. And then let's go ahead and bring in this little guy here. And then two more. Okay, so we have that, all right. And then let's bring in, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Um, do I wanna do this one? Okay, nope, that kinda gets like swallowed up in there. So we may not do those, but let's see. How about if we did what if we did this little bicone again? Because I like these little flat ones, the, the kind of like flying saucer bicones is what they remind me of. And then let's do a silver filigree bead. Oh my goodness gracious, you guys. I seriously get through every hole except for the right one. And the other holes are smaller than the right one. That doesn't make any sense to me. All right. So we're only putting the drops like close to the pendant. Um, so we're gonna wanna like kind of keep an eye on that. Oh, that one worked right away. That's awesome. All right, there we go. And I don't think we're gonna use those, so I'm just gonna move those out of the way. Just like that. And then let's go ahead and start doing stuff on this side. Now I'm gonna to wanna to change out that seed bead for a couple purple ones, so pull that off. You can hear the boys talking, laughing to each other. I love that. That you know, that's a great sound when your kids are like laughing and having a great time. It's an awesome sound. Liam's job is going really, really well. He really likes it, so um, that's good. Really happy for him. You know, and you guys all like said prayers for him and kept him in your thoughts and I think it helped a lot so we really appreciate it I know he really does too like he needed this so bad you guys he was just getting so you know down in the dumps so over it and, and I understand you know it's 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 hard you know he just he didn't want to go to college he didn't you know that wasn't his thing you know and it's okay that it's not and I you know, I can appreciate that in him, that he's just not going to get a random degree that he's gonna to have to worry about that student loan forever, you know what I mean? Instead, he wants just he wants to work, you know? And there's nothing wrong with that. I did not get my degree. Everything that I do 
is stuff that I've learned along the way. Yeah, I may not ever be a licensed CPA, but I don't care. I don't want to be a CPA. I like doing what I do. So I'm absolutely happy with that. Plus, I'm you know what? I'm getting closer, reti closer to retirement age. And, you know, I want to think about, like, what I want to do um, after that. Like, this is going to be what I'm doing. This will be my job. And right now it's my part-time job. <laughs> I would love it to be my full-time job. It's just not feasible for us at this point in my life. So, but it's good, you know? Oh my gosh, was I stringing off the camera? I am so sorry, you guys. I am so, so sorry. All right, so here we go. I was doing that thing where I was letting it get away from me again. All right, so this is what we have going on. So then we'll have all these little drops just kind of like hanging there. And I think that'll look really, really pretty. And yeah, they're gonna be kind of like sticking out weird, but I think that's that's gonna be a cool look. I think it's gonna look really cool. So I'm happy with that. So let's just keep going. Um, so next we have these beautiful Jasper beads. We're almost done with the little drops. We only have a couple more on each side. Oops. And I, I haven't done it in a while, but um, if you want to stick around, I will show you how I store them after I'm done with my first unboxing and tutorial. Um, if you've seen it already, then you can go right ahead and leave and everything will be just fine. Or if you don't want to see it, that's fine too. But in case there's any new people here, I would like to um, show you what I end up doing with my bead boxes. Um, it came highly recommended from friends of mine who also do it. So I am sharing their little tricks of the trade with you just as they shared with me. So um, it was really helpful in like organizing my life, you guys. <laughs> so super helpful. And um, I mean, I'm still not completely organized, but I'm a lot closer than what I was before. All right. So, so far, looks like we're doing pretty good. We have one more set of those drops to do. And I will try this on after we're all done, just so you can see um, what it's like. So then after that, we had the, the two um, seed beads. And then our last drop for this side. And we'll do the same thing over here because then we're going to do the rest of the necklace and make it gorgeous. So, two seed beads. And our little drop. And then we'll do our two seed beads. And, whoops, and our little flat by cone. Okay. All right, very pretty. Now we have all of our drops taken care of. Drops are done. So let's see what we have. So I have more of this Jasper. And I'm kind of thinking that I would like to kind of stick close to um, what we had going on here in a way, but just not have any drops. So um, silver is our next one. So let's go ahead and do um, a silver. Goodness gracious, there it goes. And then let's put a seed bead here and another silver. And then um, maybe to divide those up, we can do 
a bicone, and then um, a couple of jasper with the little seed beads in between. All right, and then we can do, I think we're just gonna alternate. So let's do that bicone, and then let's do the silver. My little purple seed bead. I love the filigree ones, but <laughs> there's such a little pain trying to get the, um, the string to go through. Okay, before we lose what we're doing here, let's go to the other side and do some over here. I have more of these silver beads, so I'll get them out in a second. Okay, there we go. Seed bead. Silver. There we are. And then um, our bicone. Oh, hold on. These really that? lovely purple seed beads, and I think those would be wonderful. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take these clear ones off here. Well, we'll do it off the one side because they have the other side clamped down. We'll do that one when we're done. And let's go ahead and put. put a couple of them here. They're like a purplish red, which is like, I think pretty perfect for this necklace. And then let's maybe do um, one of these bicones right next to it, just to lighten that up right next to this dark stone here. And then let's do a seed bead See if one will be enough. We might have to do two. Goodness, hold still. Well, it looks like one should be enough. Let's put the other one on. Just like that. And then let's maybe do another one of these. And then how about another one of these bicones? Yeah, that's pretty. And then let's do, you know what? Let's do two of these seed beads. Whoop, come back here. I like these seed beads because they have a nice larger hole. So they're a lot easier to like, to see. And they're just like an 11 -0 size. So if you're trying to make this necklace, um, it's 11 O size and um, it fits like perfect. So then let's do, let's do this really pretty orange. Let's keep some color up front, shall we? Let's do that. And then I want most of these drops hanging towards the center of the necklace. So let's do our drop. And then let's do another one of these. And let's do two more seed beads. And you know what, let's maybe do two more of these. So let's do one. Drop. Seed bead. Okay, that's gonna look really pretty. Yeah, that's gonna look really cool. I like that already. All right, so we did those, and now let's do, mm, let's do one of these larger bicones. Mm, 
Mm, hold on. I do want to use these silver ones. So let's maybe do, just do one of these little clearish seed beads next to the silver. I'm getting it through every hole except for the right one. There it goes. <laughs> you know what, you guys? I'm not really wanting these. I love them, but that's not it's not what I'm going for. You know what? We're gonna take those off. I'm so sorry, but sometimes we have to do it this way. And we're going to put those back. I have plenty of this Jasper. I want to use this Jasper. And I want to use a lot of this silver. So let's get rid of these. These will be great on another piece that I'm already thinking about. So let me just put those away. And this is what we're going to do. All right. So we have, this is our pattern so far. And then let's go ahead and bring in this little guy here. And then two more. Okay. So we have that. All right. And then let's bring in. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Um, do I want to do this one? You know, that kind of gets like swallowed up in there so we may not do those but let's see how about if we did how about if we did this little bicone again because I like these little flat ones the, the kind of like flying saucer bicones is what they remind me of and then let's do a silver filigree bead Oh my goodness gracious, you guys. I seriously get through every hole except for the right one. And the other holes are smaller than the right one. That doesn't make any sense to me. All right. So we're only putting the drops like close to the pendant. Um, so we're gonna wanna like kind of keep an eye on that. Oh, that one worked right away. That's awesome. All right. There we go. And I don't think we're going to use those. So I'm just going to move those out of the way. Just like that. And then let's go ahead and start doing stuff on this side. Now I'm gonna to wanna to change out that seed bead for a couple purple ones. So pull that off. You can hear the boys talking and laughing to each other. I love that. That You know, that's a great sound. When your kids are like laughing and having a great time, it's an awesome sound. William's job is going really, really well. He really likes it, so um, that's good. Really happy for him. You know, and you guys all like said prayers for him and kept him in your thoughts, and I think it helped a lot, so we really appreciate it. I know he really does too. Like, he needed this so bad, you guys. He was just getting so, you know, down in the dumps so over it, and. I understand, you know, it's, it's, it's hard, you know, he just, he didn't want to go to college. He didn't, you know, that wasn't his thing, you know, and it's okay that it's not. And I, you know, I can appreciate that in him that he's just not going to get a random degree that he's going to have to worry about that student loan forever. You know what I mean? Instead, he wants just, he wants to work, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that. I did not get my degree. Everything that I do it is stuff that I've learned along the way. Yeah, I may not ever be a licensed CPA, but I don't care. I don't want to be a CPA. I like doing what I do. So I'm absolutely happy with that.
plus I'm, you know what, I'm getting closer, reti closer to retirement age. And, you know, I want to think about like what I want to do, um, after that, like, this is going to be what I'm doing. This will be my job. And right now it's my part-time job. <laughs> I would love it to be my full-time job. It's just not feasible for us at this point in my life. So, but it's good, you know? Oh my gosh, was I stringing off the camera? I am so sorry, you guys. I'm so, so sorry. All right, so here we go. I was doing that thing where I was letting it get away from me again. All right, so this is what we have going on. So then we'll have all these little drops just kind of like hanging there. And I think that'll look really, really pretty. And yeah, they're gonna be kind of like sticking out weird, but I think that's that's gonna be a cool look. I think it's gonna look really cool. So I'm happy with that. So let's just keep going. Um, so next we have these beautiful Jasper beads. We're almost done with the little drops. We only have a couple more on each side. Oops. And I, I haven't done it in a while, but um, if you want to stick around, I will show you how I store them after I'm done with my first unboxing and tutorial. Um, if you've seen it already, then you can go right ahead and leave and everything will be just fine. Or if you don't want to see it, that's fine too. But in case there's any new people here, I would like to um, show you what I end up doing with my bead boxes. Um, it came highly recommended from friends of mine who also do it. So I am sharing their little tricks of the trade with you just as they shared with me. So um, it was really helpful in like organizing my life, you guys. <laughs> so super helpful and um, I mean, I'm still not completely organized, but I'm a lot closer than what I was before. All right. So, so far, looks like we're doing pretty good. We have one more set of those drops to do. And I will try this on after we're all done, just so you can see um, what it's like. So then after that, we had the, the two um, seed beads. And then our last drop for this side. And we'll do the same thing over here because then we're gonna do the rest of the necklace and make it gorgeous. So, two seed beads. And our little drop. And then we'll do our two seed beads. And, whoops, and our little flat by cone. Okay. All right, very pretty. Now we have all of our drops taken care of. Drops are done. So let's see what we have. So I have more of this Jasper. And I'm kind of thinking that I would like to kind of stick close to um, what we had going on here in a way, but just not have any drops. So um, silver is our next one. So let's go ahead and do um, a silver. Goodness gracious, there it goes. And then let's put a seed bead here and another silver. And then um, maybe to divide those up, we can do a bicone. And then um, a couple of Jasper with the little seed beads in between. All right. 
right. And then we can do, I think we're just gonna alternate. So let's do that bicone, and then let's do the silver. A little purple seed bead. I love the filigree ones, but <laughs> there's such a little pain trying to get the, um, the string to go through. Okay, before we lose what we're doing here, let's go to the other side and do some over here. I have more of these silver beads, so I'll get them out in a second. Okay, there we go. Seed bead. Silver. There we are. And then um, our bicone. Oh, hold on, I sneeze. And I was able to catch it without sneezing in your ear. All right. And our bicone. And silver. I don't want to use all the silver because I would like to save some for um, another piece of jewelry. So I think we're going to use a few more. I mean, they gave me 40. But, you know, I don't know. Anyway, so we'll use a few more. All right, so we need a couple more bicones. So we need a bicone here. We need some more jasper. Did I tell you guys I'm super happy with this box? I'm absolutely loving this box. Okay, and then let's do silver. Yep. Purple. Silver. Those seem to go on pretty easy. All right, let's do this side. in the same spot let me see okay yeah I'm doing I'm doing it right okay good I <laughs> just had, had to make sure I'm so glad I saw these little purple seed beads because they just add a little bit of that purple in here that we needed so desperately and I think it works out really really nice Looks really good. All right, so we need a couple bicones. Let's do one bicone there. Let's grab a couple more jasper beads. And a bicone. Getting close to the end. Oh. I really wish those turquoise and orange ones would have worked out good for this, but for some reason it just wasn't like, it wasn't giving me the look that I was going for. You know what I mean? It just, I, I love them and I'm really bummed out about them, but it just wasn't doing what I wanted it to do. So, um, I think I like it much better this way. All right, so we're getting close to the end. We're gonna save these last four Jaspers. I'm gonna save those last two silver ones. 
Actually, let's put, let's just go ahead and put two more silver on. Why not? Two more on each side. Still have plenty left over to do stuff with. Might as well end strong, right? And then our bicone. There we go. Get in there. There we go. And our bicone. And I think this is where we're going to end it, you guys, right there. So I'm going to pick up this little mess and we're going to finish off our necklace. Guys, up. Here we are. So we have everything we need. And let's go ahead and do. Just gonna put this one right on. So let's do our little crimp bead. These are the ones with the little plunger in them that you smush down um, to, and it's, it's still like a little bead. You know, people keep talking about the magical crimper to me, and it's been on my wish list for a while. I think not this coming week because we have a lot tied up into it. I think I'm gonna get the magical crimper, you guys, and then um, like the following week. They want to order it and then um yeah i don't know like I'm, I'm really i'm really really wanting it bad so you guys may see me with a new tool by the beginning of october and hopefully i can learn how to use it properly by watching everybody's tutorials i heard joey um, does a really good tutorial on it so i will check her out um, I've been trying to catch up on her videos anyway, so um, I, I am like, I always say how far behind I am in watching my friends do their videos, and I love watching them all. So I just, I'll watch them at work. Like I'll prop my phone up in my keyboard, like I have this little slot, and so I'll prop my phone up in there and I'll listen and then look down occasionally and see what they might have going on. Um, so I, I do that, <laughs> which I don't know, is that a good thing or a bad thing? You know what, this little, crimp, this little jump ring is not working right with my fingers today. You know what might be one of my things besides just being really grateful is I, I'm also very excited feeling and I think it's because I had two iced coffees today. <laughs> so I bought some of this like, it's Starbucks um, iced coffee concentrate that you mix with water and you can put your creamer in it and I'm a big fan of oat milk creamer not that I have a, di um, a, a dairy allergy or anything like that I don't but I just love oat milk creamer for some reason it just I love the taste of it anyway so I have that at work and this afternoon I or actually before lunch I made a cup of it um, with some ice and um, I think I made it a little strong because I was feeling a little hyper. And then my husband is such a sweetheart. On his way home from work, he stops at my work, comes in with a Big B iced coffee. And you guys, it was so good. So I'm like super jittery and I may be up all night, but um, I'll get a lot done. Okay, so we have our necklace put together. and here we go and it has all those little drops look how cute they are oh my gosh you guys this turned out really cute very pretty I'm gonna try it on for you so you can see what it looks like on an actual human I'll bring you guys here it is I am a big fan of this look at that how pretty it is and my little drops they're flipping around <laughs> but there's my little drops throughout the whole necklace I'll bring you in a little bit closer so you can see it and it hangs right about mid chest from my measurement that I did on myself. And I just think it looks really, really, really pretty. There's a lot of sparkle in it. Um, it almost looks like the Jasper is almost black, but there is a lot of like that brown and deep red in there. It's just my phone is not picking up those colors, but you can surely see the color on this, can't you? That's, I think it looks really cute, you guys. I hope you guys like this one too. And remember, if you do wanna get this box, 
just head over to the description. I have a link. I have a promo code. Do not forget that promo code because you're going to want to save some money. And um, stick around if you guys want to see how I put this stuff away from the bead boxes. I would be happy to show you. So I know I've shown it once before on a video, but let's show it again just in case somebody missed it. All right, guys, I hope you have a really blessed night and I will talk to you again real soon. Much love to you all. Bye. Guys, I have a bunch of these little trays that are 28 spaces. So um, my good friend Pamela had sent me a ton of them and I've been reordering them quite often. These are so great because they have like the little ridges right here that actually separates out each square. So you can tip them and they're not going to like slide through, even the smallest of beads. These don't pop out, so you're not gonna worry about anything sliding underneath of them. Um, these are so great for bead boxes. Now, because they don't come with like an insert that has everything on it, I actually cut this off and I just lay it on top of the box that it goes with. Um, if it was thin, like the paper that we usually get, I usually just stick it inside and I'll shut it or leave it on top. Um, but either way, it works wonderful for me. And I just go in order of how they're listed. So the very first one, um, and I go just like you would read, left to right. The very first one is this apple green marble style glass bead. So we're going to cut that off and just put those in. And I just start the very first one. And we'll just do this really fast. And if they all don't fit in that one square, take up the next one, okay? Then next we have the olive crackle, um, crackle glass bead. And we'll do the same thing. And this just helps you see everything that you have, okay? Um, really easily without having to open up a cardboard box, you're not having to hang on to cardboard boxes um, or anything like that. So now we have the malachite. And for most bead boxes, the these gridded um, uh, containers are perfect. So there's some that you might end up needing more room or whatever, but I usually do this right after making a design from it, and then that way some of the beads are gone. All right, then we have the red and green um, gemstone style, eight millimeters. Clip that off there. Whoop. There we go. Goodness, so it's sticking to me. All right, I'll just put those in here real quick. And then when you run out of room in that one, just left to right, just you're going left to right. Whoop. The only thing I do not put in here is the findings pack. I usually leave it in the bag and I stick it with this on top of the box um, or beside it. I have like little skinny um, dividers. I have like these in between and I'll just stand it up in here so that we know um, that, that belongs with one of those bead boxes. Okay, then next we have the brown and green frosted duo. We have the turquoise and orange frosted duo. Okay, then we have the green aventurine. I love that green aventurine. After that, we have Jasper. Then we have this pretty six millimeter bronze drizzled glass bead. I 
They're all going to fit in that one. There's only one little guy left here. And there we go. All right, after that, we have the designer glass bead mix. So I have some of it here and some of it here. So some of it, like the big ones, I might just throw over here on this side and then keep the smaller ones together, just like that. Whoops. Eh, that's fine, okay. So we have that, and then we have the gold 10 millimeter round iron beads. These sound like bells when they clink up against each other. So that's gonna need two spots probably, yep. And then we have the silver filigree, which is, this is what we have left. And then we have the silver luster bicone beads, which all fits in one. Then we have our pendant, which will not fit in there. And we have our findings pack. So we're gonna put our findings pack back in its bag. Since we didn't use any of it, we went with silver instead of the gold. But don't worry, I'll probably be using plenty of this stuff. So I'm going to stick it all in here along with the pendant. And see, I still have like four spaces left. I mean, I could just put the little findings in here, but we're not going to. We're going to just leave them right in here, just like this. And then that's it. No more box, and these all fit together really nice. And that's all she wrote. Well, I hope you guys really enjoyed this one. And if you have um, any questions about anything, let me know. Um, but don't forget that if you do want to order it, I have the link and the promo code for you guys. All right, I'm sending you off. Much love to you all. Thank you for sticking around if you did. Talk to you later. Bye.